Okay, here, now we are back, and with audio. I hope it's okay. There's not gonna not gonna be any problem with that. Um, I'm pretty sure they recreated the music as well from scratch. I could be wrong. Pretty sure they recreated everything from scratch, though. I know they recreated the sprites from scratch, they recreated... I don't know, everything from scratch. Like, yeah, they used everything as a, as a reference. And might have done damn near everything verbatim. But, you know, they did... They created everything from the ground up from scratch. And I remember that much. Um... We're gonna, we're gonna make this happen. And beat them up. And stuff. Cause that's what we do here. Oh! Go me! Of course it's gonna blow up as soon as I'm right by it. Pretty much with these guys I gotta watch it cause... Uh, really all you gotta do about those guys is just, um... How the fuck, uh... Was he really that not smart? Oh, and I gotta hit myself. Yeah, you're supposed to jump and attack them and you'll be okay. Yeah, even when they recreated this, uh, they um, gave them all new movesets, I think. And I can't say they're all, like, most excellent, but they gave them all new moves and movesets and stuff, so... I don't know the exact, like side-by-side -side comparison kind of details. I guess maybe I could um, look into that one day. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. So, should be alright, I think, I hope. And this is going to be my last video as far as post commentary goes for the time being, so I'm glad about that. This may or may not go up tonight. I'm not too sure exactly yet. It could. It might not. I don't exactly know. It might. I'm trying to figure this out. Let's see. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, I, I kind of like this character though, Blaze. Yeah. She's, she's, she has, she's cool. I think it's the only female in the game too. Well, as far as playable females. I could be wrong, but... I don't know. Let's see. They did a great job on this though, and it looks great too. Because it has whatever the the filter is that smooths everything out and just make it look nice. So that's cool. I don't know what that's about. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, that's because there's passing vehicles that you get hit by if you don't watch it. I don't remember, did I get hit by them or did I was I able to, you know, avoid them? I don't remember. It's been a couple days. It's been a couple days. I think at least two or three days. Could be more. Yeah, at least two or three days. Saturday or Sunday, I definitely recorded this. And today is, uh, Tuesday. So. We'll see how this goes. Should be alright. Oh, yeah, one thing I did want to mention because. You know, I want to have a topic to talk about instead of be like, oh, da da da, I'm tired and. Just want to get this on with. So, um. You know, like I've mentioned, I don't remember if I mentioned earlier in this video or the last video or whatever video, video, video. Um, I know in the full run I tried to talk about the topic and then I like totally 
forgot what I was trying to talk about. Um, but this game ended up getting the axe. I, no, I definitely have mentioned this one, like, unfortunately, you know, whatever. Anyway, it got the axe. They got a cease and desist. Um, from Sega, I guess, to discontinue this game. And, uh, it's unfortunate because this was, they didn't use any original source code. They, this is a straight, it's not an emulated version of the game. It's a straight, exact, built from the ground up reiteration of the game. Um, and this is another unfortunate, uh, thing where, uh, you know, like, we as gamers, not just in general gamers, but also as a community, um, we are what pushes, you know, the success of these games. And without us, where are these companies going to go? They can't create games if we don't, you know, show support. Whether it be, you know, buying the game, or also buying the game and being like, hey, everybody buy the game. Um, like when you're pulling shysty moves like EA does, or Ubisoft does with the DRM, uh, you know, you're not going to have people saying good things. Um, and you want that, you don't, you want, you want to, you know, less than that amount so that you can actually, um, uh, hear as many good things as possible. Like, the mods have been banned because it has adult content. Well, you know what, hey, it's a PC game, um, and, uh, maybe it's not quite a, a children's game in the first place. Maybe it has more of a mature storyline, so thus, a lot of older gamers will play it. But this also says, like, you know, companies like Valve, they openly support and encourage, um, you know, fan-created content. Uh, like, even today, I'm sure I could find a mod that I could get so enthralled with playing that I would play through Half-Life 2 again. There's even supported mods still for the first Half-Life. Um, but also that dates back to they were doing mods for Half-Life since then. Mods have been around for many years. I don't know when it really started. I don't know when the scene really started. But, um, you know, it's, 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 uh, not going away. But these companies being, you know, anti-creating something with, you know, they're modding their games. Uh, that's that's not a. Uh, it, it's not. It's. Oh, I, I can't even think of the word. Like it helps lengthen some of your games. Um. Like, years ago, there was a mod created for StarCraft. Yeah, the original StarCraft. And, uh... No, was it StarCraft? It was either StarCraft or, uh... No, I think it was made in, um... Uh, Command and Conquer Generals. And there was already mods out there. But there wasn't any full... Uh, recreation mod, where they took all, you know, the, the stuff, and then, you know, reformatted, you know, like, cause there was, a they were taking the StarCraft game, and redoing everything, on the, uh, Command and Conquer Generals, you know, game, you know, based on the game, and just modding it to, play a mod, there was already, yeah, like I said, there was already, um, Command and Conquer Generals mods out there, but it was like little things here and there, like, oh, uh, reskinned, um, enemy or something, maybe, like one or two reskins, or, I don't know, a bonus level or something, 
I think it was really encouraged to have like fan created uh, levels though, if I remember correctly. But like even Blizzard up until recently, uh, they really they had a huge push for StarCraft and uh, Warcraft Three. There was a lot of um, mods out there for those games. A lot. But now they're dead. Well, not really. Those are still going. I'm sure the StarCraft and War Warcraft 3 uh, mods are still quite happening. It's just been slowed down since StarCraft 2 came out. But they don't support StarCraft 2 mods. It's locked out. There was even Diablo 2 mods. Um, but of course, Diablo 3 mods are locked out, I think. I don't think there's been any Diablo 3 mods, though. I haven't really paid attention. But I remember there was a big deal because uh, I think somebody did try to do something about StarCraft 2, maybe. I don't know, I just know they've really ended up like Blizzard in recent years since they went to the Battle.net thing and actually implemented a wide range Battle.net instead of specific game Battle.net that uh, they've really locked out uh, uh, third party fan created content and that's like it, it is sad um, because like I said if not for your your fan base your your players the video gamers who play your damn game if not for them you know your your games aren't gonna have that extra life extension like what is it this has been out 15 years or so the Streets of Rage games 15 years at least maybe even pushing 20 I would be wrong about the 20, but you know, they've been out for a long time. Uh, and, you know, it's been dead. Nobody, you know, the Streets of Rage, it's, you know, it's just not there anymore. There's no, so 15 years later and somebody wants to make it, why are you going to be against it? You don't have to, they weren't making money off of it. You don't have to financially back them. You could always be like, hey, tweet it or put it on Facebook. Hey, look what these people did. You don't even have to do that. But they got a cease and desist anyway, and they weren't making money off of it. I didn't even get to finish everything I wanted to talk about, about the mods and cease and desist and games that have been on life support and been dead for years. They'll get a little bit of support from the fan base that helped get them going in the first place but anyway yeah all right cool